Welcome in everybody, my name is Ryan and today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and unlock any Steam achievement for any of your Steam games that you own. Now you can use this if you run into a bug where the achievement does not unlock or if you're just wanting to cheese the game and get all the achievements, you can also do that. Now using this tool is at your own discretion, I take no responsibility and what might happen to your account using this tool. Now I do want to note though that the community has stated that this tool is very safe to use that no one has received any bans or vax from Steam themselves using this tool. Also in Steam's TOS, there's nothing in there that says that you are prohibited from using a tool to edit your Steam achievements. So all the links are gonna be down in my description so you can follow along easily. You're gonna come here to the steamachievementmanager.zip, go ahead and grab that. So what you wanna do with this once you download it is right click it and extract two. Now I'm using WinWire, you can use 7-Zip if you would like, you just need any type of decompressing tool. I'm just using WinWire. Now we're gonna come into the folder that we just unzipped here. And inside here, we're gonna see the sandpicker.exe. This is what we want to run. So go ahead and double click that. And then we can minimize this. Now you're gonna give this a second. It's gonna pop up all the games you have on your Steam account here. And then we can go ahead and edit our achievements like so. So for example, I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, we can use wallpaper engine, for example, here. So look, I have three out of 17 here. Now, when we go into this tool, we're gonna to go down here to wallpaper engine right here. We're gonna double click it. Now this is gonna bring up all of the achievements that you can get inside the wallpaper engine game. Whatever game you double click, it's gonna bring up all the achievements that's available. And then it's gonna show the ones highlighted here, the ones that you already have unlocked. Now the ones that are locked are gonna be grayed out like so. Now what you can do is you can actually just click on the ones that you want to unlock, like so, you hit the little tick box. Come over here to commit changes. And then it says stored one achievement. So as you see, that just popped up at the bottom right. It was just unlocked. You hit okay. Now when I minimize this and go back in here, I'm gonna show you guys that I have this unlocked now. So coming in here, as you see, this is the achievement that I just unlocked. Now I'll show you another example for the high aspirations here. We're gonna load this back up, go back into wallpaper engine. And then let's find that one that is the high aspirations right here. So we're just gonna check it, click commit changes, and then it pops up like so, minimize it. Now we come back in here, you're gonna see that now I have this once I refresh this. So let me go back here and then come back into it. And now you're gonna see that I have the high aspirations achievement unlocked. And it tells us what time, just like it normally would. So there's also something else I wanna show you. When we double click this, you can come over here and click right here, unlock all achievements. So if we click that, that's gonna unlock all the achievements. We hit commit changes. Now again, that's gonna unlock every single achievement here. So when I come back in here, you're gonna see now I have all the achievements for wallpaper engine. Now, I do want to show you something else. Now, when we come back in here, let's say you accidentally clicked on one of the achievements that you didn't want to unlock or you did whatever you did and you want to go back to what it just was prior to the last thing you did. We can use this tool right here to invert all achievements. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to invert all the achievements that you just did. So whatever ones you ticked on and you click this, it's going to invert those back to what they were before. Now, because I just did unlock all achievements, when I do invert all achievements, what it's going to do is actually just take all the achievements away. So I'll show you that really quick when I click that and then commit changes, hit okay. Come back into this, back achievements. Now all the achievements are locked again. And then finally, guys, we can actually reset all the achievements. Let's say you've already 100% of the game. You want to go back, unlock all those achievements again. You can just open up the game, go over here to the left where it says lock all achievements. We're going to click that and then commit changes. And then what that's going to do is exactly like I just said, it's going to relock all the achievements. So now when we go back in here, 
it says zero out of seven as you see and everything is locked once more so one last thing before i wrap this video up let's say you're in here and you're looking for your game and you don't see it for whatever reason all you need to do is go to the steam database website that i have linked down in my description you come here type in whatever game you're looking for we'll go with the spider-man remastered here and then it's going to show the app id right at the top here you're just going to copy that come back in here and then you're going to go and paste it right here and then click add game and then that's going to add the game into your list here there we have it guys it's as easy as that if you found this video helpful please consider sharing it with a friend like comment and we'll catch you on the next video as always peace and prosper much love be seeing you on the next one bye